On March 15, 2011, Syria spiraled into a civil war. Your heart really bleeds seeing not just the killing and destruction, but 10 million Syrians that became refugees. Four or five million outside their country, and the rest inside of their country. And this is going on now for five years. Because most of them really did not come directly from Syria. They came from refugee camps in Jordan. They were really being held just to survive, basically. يوم ما طلعت على على الاردن هاجرت على الاردن ولا فكرت 1% اني اجي على امريكا لانه شغله امريكا كانت حلم للناس في حريه هون الواحد بيجي بيلاقي شغل في مستقبل مليح لاولاده والحمد لله الله يسرها وصارت جيتنا لهون all of them really they arrived with a very high expectation and sometimes they get shocked when when they face the reality I welcomed them at the airport on their arrival, and then I transported them to their new house that uh, was uh, prepared for them uh, before they arrived. It's uh, fully furnished, all the personal need. Most of them are happy because they come tired after 12, 13 hours of fly. So always they go, but after dinner they go right to the bed. I meet the Al Abdel Qadir family in the spring. This is the beginning of their new life in America. It's also when the US government's refugee specific aid will end. They must now hold their own in a foreign land. I'm Bizra. <laughs> وبعدين بلشنا بالكبير اللي بعده اللي جميل واللي بعدي بيجي حمزة واللي بعدي ما شاء الله محمد واللي بعدي ما شاء الله مالك الله كثرهم وكلهم عاقلين بس كل واحد عنده شوية عصبية مميزة فيه بعدين وين فاطرات واللي شعريها وبعدين How are you? My name is Muhammad Jameel Hamdi يعني من عمر عنده عصبية لحاله خاصة هذا جميل عنده عصبية خاصة هذا محمد بضرب راسه بالحيط بس يعصب بصيح بس هو ما نمسترجي قرب عليهم لأنه بأمريكا إحنا لو أنه بسوريا أنا بقرب عليهم مضبوط أنت لا إذا أنت بسوريا أنا إيه بأمريكا أنا لأولادي أنا سوريا إذا بترجع برجع يعني مستقبلهم ما أعرف صبلي بتباطون أو عمال العتالة أو عمال حرة يعني شغل علم ما فيه أنا بحب أحفر بالأب يعني الشغلات الصعبة اللي ما عنده شهادة مثل أبوهم بيشتغلوها أما هو لا إن شاء الله في لهم مستقبل دكتور مهندس شو ما كان لو أخذ شهادة شو ما كانت مريحة هسا بقولها وبعد مئة سنة وبعد ألفين سنة سوري إذا بترجع برجع لأنه بلد الأم ما بقدر استغني عنه أما بالوضع اللي هي فيه لا اللي بتمنى الحياة كلها بسوريا ترجع يا أيها الذين آمنوا لا تقدم رمضان is a holy Islamic lunar month Muslims will fast without food or water from sunrise to sunset and fill the night with prayers. When the month is over, there is the huge Eid al-Fitr celebration. As we are all human beings, uh, we are looking to have our families, my, our children are successful in their lives, live their life in love and peace. It's 4.20 in the morning, just before sunrise. Our Ramadan. I 
مشان مشان ما تصوم مشان ما تجوع يا اخي مشان اصوم يا حبيبي مشان اصوم مشان اصوم يا بنت Fasting in the summer means the days will be hotter and longer. It will be a test to meet American life expectations. Anas already has a work injury. If he wants to feed his family and keep his home, his only choice is to keep working. Our goal as an agency is that within 90 days we find a job for them and they become self-sufficient. It's really not just giving up the basic things back in your country, but to start a new life from zero. It's from the zero. No language, no job. You have nothing, and all of a sudden you are responsible about yourself and your family. All of a sudden uh, you need to learn the language, all of a sudden you need to learn the culture, and except job, maybe it is more or less than what you were doing back in your country. But this is the fact. You have to start a life of home zero. By the time Ennis gets to work, it's already 7 in the morning. The children are waking up for the second time today. They will walk for 30 minutes in the cool summer morning. Striding with the children are their parents' sacrifices, aspirations, and hope. Ennis gets out of work early to visit the Syrian Arab American Charity for translation assistance. They provide other helpful services and collaborate with the local government. Many of the volunteers there are also immigrants. It's uh, not the only food we give. We're going to be given on a top of this, uh, maybe vegetables, maybe fruit, produce. We'll be given uh, meat, cheese. Um, maybe milk. So people opened up their hearts here. And, and this, this is a great community for them. And I bet you they're living well. They're all living well. They got a job, thank God, you know, and they're all, in no time they're gonna be fine. They're already fine. Look, I came from nothing, you know, from background, from the street. Uh, I made a life for myself, I helped my kids, I educated them, and basically no, back, no background, no education. But hard, hard work and determination pays off. This is a great country. This is a great country. It's rewarding. If you, if you want to work, there's work. And there's no shame in working. Nowhere, anywhere. You know, no matter what, you got to provide. Four or five years over on the road, on the run, that was very difficult for any human being to bear. I understand that. أول ثلاث شهور صار معي التهاب مفصل بإيدي من قد ما هو الشغل حرك وسرعة 
وهسا صارلي ست شهور فيها وان شاء الله بعد شهر اقل من شهر بعد 20 يوم عندي عمليه التهاب مفصل بايدي It's questionable if JBS has been using Ennis's lack of English to delay his workers' compensation. JBS refused any filming of their treatment of refugees and immigrants. كنا نكيف بسوريا نلعب كل يوم المساء وكنت ألعب مع أولاد خالي وأمامي وأسع تعرف الوضع بسوريا صار دمار وهدم بيوت وقصف هيك كان ايش هي؟ نص ساعة بروح من هون للمدرسة نص ساعة بالانجليزي Okay, so how do you say this? What is this? Yeah. 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 No, it's a vowel. And guess what? This word we we pronounce this word date. It's not dat. If we had d a t, it would be consonant vowel consonant. This would be dat. But the word we want is date. Date. I've been teaching for over thirty years, and I have to say it's it's probably probably the most difficult teaching I've ever done, because to teach someone from scratch how to communicate orally and how to read and write especially um, not in a school setting and there aren't group classes that they can attend um, this is it and we make the very best of it <laughs> سحر مليح ونشرب ماي بوكل تمرتين بوكل ست تمرات وبشرب ماي وبتسحر ما بحس هي بعطش الحمد لله بعطش الصغار بتعبوا وأنا كمان بتعب بعد مرات عم زب بس صام اليوم بس أول يوم بصمت نروح ناطريق لأنه قريب كثير استعمل شو السبب بتروح ناطريق وما في طريق يمشي ما في ده كل الأيام مفطر بس اليوم قال فاك عالسحور لحاله قال بدي أتسحر عندي لقد أتغار عشان بسرعة إنه لو تفضل لا youngest twins, Omar and Fatima, have two more years before they attend school. The rest have catching up to do. Throughout the day, I know that they're getting English as a second language in school. I know the parents would love for it to be more. I know the boys would, would like to learn English as quickly as possible. But because they were refugees, the children didn't have school for three years. Hey, what is this word? I try to be patient and try and you know help them the best that I can. The children are all vying for their parents' attention. It's difficult with the six children underfoot when I'm trying to teach the parents. Children like to listen when their parents being tutored by me 
and the children often would like to answer the question. I have to keep reminding them that it's mom and dad's turn. The mom and dad have to learn this. And it's hard because they're eager to learn, they're curious to see what's going on, um, and they want to participate. So let's, let's see if we can play. Let's see. You want to play? Sometimes I play language games with the parents and trying to involve the children. Another one. Let's see. The parents have the same desires and dreams for their kids that all families do everywhere. And they, they <laughs> care for them, they want them to be successful. I'm happy to have this opportunity to help. I hope that I'm making a difference in their lives. Certainly they've en enriched my life. How's Samia? I like to eat chicken. Good, say I have out. I have out. Okay, you know what, he filled his whole card, so what do you say, you say? Bing. Bingo. Yes. Bingo. Bingo. Good job. Okay, everybody wins. Round of applause. Okay. They've certainly made me feel welcome every time every time I come and, and I will I will keep going, you know, as as long as I can. I, w I wish that everybody had the opportunity to interact with them and to see that they're really no different than, than they are. How about enough you Ventura? شوف هذا سبحان الله صغير بس It's the morning of Ennis's surgery. JBS still refuses to give any comment. إذا ظل الوضع مثل ما هو قلنا بدنا نوقف شغل نوقف شغل ونروح نسجل المدرسة هاي تعليم تعليم مهني عندنا بالدول العربية بسموه تعليم مهني أخذ ترخيص بأي مصلحة وأشتغل فيها أحسن لي أما شغل هذا البراني ما مزابط ما بنصح أي واحد يشتغل فيه غير مؤقت تاي يتعلم اللغة بس يتعلم اللغة لازم يأخذ ترخيص بشغل أحسن له ما عندي في شغل وورد بكرة نو رحت قدمت على إجازة نظامية خدت تاي ولا حد مقدم إجازة من الشباب قدمت على إجازة نظامية وخدت رحت على المدير قلت له أنا هيك شيء شوف بدي أضحي اللي كنت متحمس لي ما إجاش مثل ما بدي ما زبطتش الأمور مثل ما بدي وهي أهم إشي إني ما تعلمت إشي بعدني يعني صار لي سنة ضاعت إيش من عمري تشد وتشد It's a hard, it's a really hard thing to start from zero. I get the impression from NS, he's heard of some people who when they've come, they have been, they didn't have to work right away, they were just Im immersed in English language instruction. And I know that he wished that could have been the case. Immigrant families, they are in the same boat as Ennis and Samia. They come and they have to immediately find jobs, find transportation, you know, find housing, um, equip their homes, start making money, and start making a life from day one. So as refugees, they're getting a little bit. For the first eight months, uh, the government offered them uh, health insurance for all the family. For three months, the government helped them with the uh, food stamp. We offer the refugees uh, cultural orientation about health, transportation, education, work, and we explain that how much important uh, for the refugee to accept first job he will offer because he don't speak English. 
and then after they learn English, they are welcome to look for a better job. I'll bet him down on. I feel the hell of a station, but so far, camera. I feel the hell of a command center at the bar. I want it, want it, and then, mashallah. Anis's sister and her family, who are also Syrian refugees, have been accepted refuge into the United States. Uh, I'm the Joseph is more Tariq, but from Nadilo, I'm more Tariq. And he has a son from Nadilo, 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 and he has a son from Nadilo. بدهم يجي لعندنا هم من زمان بدهم يجوا من قبل بس قال لهم أبوي تعال لعندنا على وياك تبعتنا ويجوا الحمد لله اليوم وصلوا بس بدنا نروح نجيبهم من المطار اللي انت عارف مبسوط ليش مبسوط؟ بدهم يجوا اليوم عمتي صار لنا من زمان ما شفناهم صار لنا شيء 10 شهور 9 شهور 8 شهور سنة فوق أبوي جا أبوي يما جا أبوي Abbas will also be the case manager for Anas's sister. Now he has Anas and his family to help another start a new life. I'm finished. Ha, Ana War and years on the road could not prevent this family from coming together. It's the last night of Ramadan. Tomorrow is the Eid celebration. I think every American, whether born here or from generation or new, is always thinking about the American dream. And the American dream is simply is owning a house, having a good job, having, living comfortable, living in peace, and being able to, to feed the family and, and raise the children and educate the children. That's, that's everyone's uh, dream in this country. And I think the people that emigrated recently probably have this, the same aspiration and the same thought, you know, that one day they, they can do the same thing, and, and I think the opportunities, even in these difficult times, are available to them. But it's going to take, you know, hard work. It's going to take, you know, dedication by these people to to achieve the American dream. Yeah.
they will learn uh, a lot. They will give them a pride in the future that, okay, we started from the zero, and after 10, 15 years, now we are here. It is so nice after a few years when you meet one of these refugees and you see him establishing his life with his family, his children went to school, graduated, they have a new life and they are happy. I think this is the happiness. Just this is the reward to see the other successful. After a year, Enes got a job in construction and is now a father of one more a baby boy named Abdullah, an American-born citizen.